Ever wondered what it'd be like to take a punch from a zombie? Well, science can help you out on that. A team of University of Utah biologists have created a pendulum apparatus to launch a human cadaver fist forward in a jaw-rocking power jab from beyond the grave. Now I know what you're wondering, what has science wrought? But don't fret, no one's creating the world's first rock'em sock'em corpse bots here. This all centers around biologist David Carrier's continuing research into human evolution, especially into the evolution of uh, these little money makers. Here's his theory in a nutshell. In a world of violent competition, over mates and resources, only humans can throw a punch. And the proportions of the human hand allow us, specifically those of us who are dudes, Carrier says, to make a fist that protects all of its delicate bones, muscles, and ligaments during impact. Even our fellow primates fall short here. They can't punch, and they lack that fine manual dexterity we demonstrate in our crafting and tool use. So our earliest ancestors may have benefited from an evolutionary advantage if they could punch hard without injuring their five-fingered murder weapons, thus winning mates, resources, tribal honor, and, you know, maybe the occasional back rub or something. This latest study, published in the Journal of Experimental Biology, attempts to level some experimental data at the theory, a theory that continues to generate a little bit of controversy due to its emphasis on the evolutionary importance of violent, face-punching males. First, Carrier and his team collected cadaver arms from nine mortal men doomed to die. Then they dissected them to expose muscles and attach fishing line to all the tendons so as to puppet the required hand positions. Then they loaded the arms into this pendulum-like apparatus in order to launch various punches and slaps into a padded, force-detecting dumbbell. The results? They found that a clenched fist did provide significant protection for the puncher's metacarpal bones. Carrier's findings suggest that a fully buttressed fist can safely strike with 55% more force than an unbuttressed fist and 200% more than an open hand slap. Carrier stresses that these primal rage punch-outs wouldn't have been the only driving evolutionary force here. But if true, his theory paints yet another violent picture of human ascension, and he has the corpse puppets to prove it. But what about you? Hit us up with your stance on fist-based evolution and corpse-slapping machines. And if you're down for more grisly weird science, be sure to punch into now.howstuffworks.com each and every day.